Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Tober and I'm gonna be reading you a story called Cozy. So I hope that you are enjoying your break so far and that you are staying warm and cozy. Grab a blanket, maybe even some hot chocolate. I've got mine right here. And even some cozy socks or slippers. All right, this is Cozy by Jan Brett. Storms rolled over the tundra when Cozy the muskox was separated from his herd. He was used to being with his family. His mother and father had named him Cozy because his silky coat was so soft and thick. Cozy braced himself against the wind and his thick coat warmed him like a blanket. In a tussock, a mother lemming's pups were squeaking loudly. I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm cold. She used a triple carry to tunnel them toward a new spot where she saw a towering mountain of fur. In no time, the lemming family settled in next to Cozy's left hoof. Shh, she whispered quiet voices and that muskox will never notice us. Notice in the side picture what's coming next. Snowshoe hare, feeling chilly, had the same idea. Master muskox, he asked politely, may I wait out the storm under the protection of your very thick coat? Cozy was happy for the company and well aware that a lemming family had snuck in. He said, welcome snowshoe hare, but mind those lemmings, quiet voices and gentle thumping only. Snow swirled and plump. Suddenly, all grew white. Was it a clump of snow that had hit Cozy on the forehead? No, it was feathers. When Cozy opened his eyes, he was looking into big yellow ones. The eyes belonged to a snowy owl who also had a request. Oh, magnificent Umingmok, would you be so kind as to give me shelter? The wind has tumbled me terribly. Cozy knew that snowy owls and lemmings and snowshoe hares were not always fast friends, but he agreed with some conditions. House rules are, quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself. Arctic Fox's nose was turning blue. Her bushy tail wasn't warm enough and every time she wrapped it around herself, the wind unwrapped it. Thinking Cozy would make a good windbreak, she slided up next to him. Do you mind, Mr. Muskox, if I unfreeze my nose in your, think, in your thick fur? Cozy was happy to welcome a new guest, but eyeing her sharp canines, he answered, for the harmony of all, quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself, and no biting. As winter went by, the storms grew worse. The wind blew and blew, and a low, humpy shape appeared, swaying and shuffling. Its coat was covered with ice balls. Shaggy beast, it growled. 
I fell into an ice floe and am chilled to the bone. Can you help me? Cozy was happy to invite the Wolverine in, but added to the house rules. Quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself, no biting, and no pouncing. Cozy's new friends cleaned their coats, preened their feathers, napped, and were glad for their comfy shelter. But then, above the wind, the animals heard, yip, 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 yip. I wonder who's coming next. A team of huskies, always on the lookout for a good thing, barreled into Cozy's big bulk, flinging the creatures in all directions. Their musher, a sea otter, looked, in, looked on in dismay. Hi, the lead dog grinned. House rules, chorused the jostled lemmings, snowshoe hare, snowy owl, arctic fox, and wolverine. Quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself, no biting, no pouncing, and be mindful of others. Cozy, wary of the lead dog, who looked a lot like a wolf, shook, shook, shook his horns to make sure the huskies understood the rules. As time went by, the wind calmed a little and the Arctic sun climbed higher in the sky. The animals felt more at home every day, but Cozy had spring fever. I want to find my family. How can I move about with these visitors underfoot? The house rules were stretched and stretched every day. When was a nibble a bite? When was a hoot quiet or loud? There was bumping, making faces, and nobody was saying, I'm sorry. One sunny day, the lemmings were playing climb the ladder. A great chunk of Cozy's coat came off. Then another Hank came off in Snowy Owl's talons. Cozy remembered this from last year. Shedding meant it was finally springtime in Alaska. Hank by Hank, all of Cozy's warm, silky winter coat drifted down the slope. Cozy's lodgers started heading to their spring homes. Cozy hadn't felt so free and breezy since he was just a calf. He jumped, he gambled, and then in the middle of a gleeful leap, he saw his herd. He's probably feeling so excited. Look at how happy he looks. He ran to join his mother, his father, his sister, and his brother. Where were you? We were worried, said his sister, Fluffy. We missed you, said his brother, snuggly. I made some new friends, Cozy told them, but it was nice to get back to Muskox ways. They all formed a circle, babies in the middle, but Cozy felt curiously alone now. 
Then the breeze carried squeaky and growly and whistling voices. See you next year, Cozy. Meet you in the snow flies, Cozy. The snowshoe hare thump, thump, thumped as they all called. We can't wait to get cozy with Cozy. The end. I love that book because it makes me feel warm and cozy, whether I'm alone or with friends and family. I hope that you are enjoying yourself this break and that you're staying cozy inside. And I can't wait to see you when we return. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed.